So that's why we are here to start this cafe for integration program. Its the purpose is to bring hope to a group of a friend or us. And, and I'm, I'm a junkie. junkie. I'm a for drug addict. Yo, what's up guys? Welcome to season 4 of Tia Papa! Are you excited? Today I'm stoked because I'm here to bring you to a cafe that serves not only good food but represents something. This is a cafe where people come to make or break. So are you ready? If you are ready, come, let's go! Ooh, money, money, money. Hello, good morning. Lunchtime food! I tell you, Singapore is a haven for food. Alright guys, we're reaching soon! And here we are. So Ah Wing, how long have you been in Breakthrough? Uh, I've been in Breakthrough for seven years. So in this six and a half years, what have you learned from this place? Uh, actually, when I came to Breakthrough, I was very excited because the distance is very long. Then I spent this six and a half years in Breakthrough. I thank God because His love and the partnership in Breakthrough has helped me in the community. 让我在生活上得到了更大的啊、呃、盼望，以及生活的更有意义。也在这边学习了跟人怎么样去交通，以及用温柔的言语来彼此的扶持。我说你以前很粗鲁啊？啊、呃，是蛮粗鲁的啦。So, uh, what this brother has just said that over the six and a half years that he has been in breakthrough for this cafe, he has learned a lot of things. Uh, chiefly how to be more gentle. Uh, he said he was a rough sort right at the beginning. Yeah, so that is very important um, if one wish to reintegrate back into society. So can you tell us a bit about the hiring process of this place? Okay, actually, I was from Jian Yi. I came here. Thank you, Jesus, because I was able to come to the Tupac and learn the program. When I came here, I was able to come to the Tupac and learn the program. So this this brother said that he was he was under a prison program, a community based program, and he was and placed in breakthrough halfway house. So while he was staying in in the halfway house, the halfway house sent him here to work in the cafe. So that's how it it, it went. Okay. How has breakthrough helped you with the reintegration process? Okay, actually, in this place, the help it has really helped me a lot because my relationship with my family is also very poor and very bad. Because I give my family a lot of trouble. Then in this place, they use God's love to help me and also give me a place to take me home to my daughter, 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 to take me home to my daughter. So his brother said that um, this place has helped him a lot. This through the gospel, through God's love, that um, that has helped him mend his relationship with your family. Yes. So initially his uh, relationship was very bad, but through this center, he's helped him mend the relationship with his child, with his sister. Yes. Right. And yeah, he's really very happy about it, and he thanks God for it. He really enjoys the job here because. He gets to uh, meet a lot of people and while meeting them, he gets to share his testimony about God's love, share about his past and how his life was and is. It's two very different things. And above that, I guess this is what I guess, uh, the food also plays a part. Ah, uh. yes. Oh, this one, last one. Oh, this last question, uh, but... So I'm very sensitive. Okay. Uh, I hope you don't mind, ah. Uh, oh, oh, your mind is so broken, ah. Uh. Are you ready? Okay. Very, very serious, ah. Uh. In this place, ah. Uh, in this place, ah. Uh, just say, don't worry, anything, you know. In this place, what is your favorite food? Oh, 
我家必须。My favorite food is 麻油鸡。哇，咖喱鱼头。Favorite one only one only。Actually one choose one。啊 ，one 呃是就是那个麻油鸡了。Sesame chicken。第到十七日学到真侪物件啦，真侪物件袂晓的，第到学啦，学习啦，学习安怎安怎去接待人，哦，安怎去甲甲人啊相处啊，来安怎去帮助人。Okay, so he said in this 17 years in this place, he has learned a lot. Ah,、uh, he has learned how to socialize with people. He has learned how to help others. 安怎？古早你不要不要不要跟人相处咩？古早完全不要啦，因为懂不懂就是小怕爱死咪嘛，哦，人太家头脑那款啦。哎，古早完全就不要发注嘛，发注所以常常也要去读呀。所以说 ，in the past his lifestyle was very different. It was um his mind was very thuggish, very gangster, you know, very gangster minded. So with the littlest of things is. Uh, to solve the problem with violence, fights and all that, and back then he didn't know God, all right, he didn't know the gospel, but now he does.、Uh, his life was about going in and out of prison. He's been in and out of prison eleven times. What? What? Wow, eleven times! All right, his life, previous life, was about taking drugs. Keep talking, yeah, yeah. Keep talking. Ah, who trafficking? Ah, you see, about taking drugs, about selling drugs. So this place has. Uh, it's because of this place they went to, they went inside prison to share the gospel with him, and it's through them that they got he got to learn about Christ and he accepted Christ into his life too. Okay, 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 okay carry on. Say bye now then. Then ah, I came here to be a public servant. Ah, because I came here to be a public servant. Ah, because I came here to be a public servant. So this brother shared that what happened was during his last incarceration when he was inside, there's this guy that he knew from young. All right, they were from the same gang, and he used to be a very violent guy. You know, yes, they went for fights together, and he saw, he witnessed how this guy even took a guy,、uh, the other the victim's face, and you know he was like polishing the <laughs> the floor of his face. But this guy, when he, this fellow friend of his. When he came to prison, he came in the capacity of a counselor. All right, so to him it was a shock. He was thinking to himself, how could a guy that was so violent become someone like him today? You know, a, a totally changed man. And not only that, that person told him that you know he has aspirations of、um, migrating to Canada. And what he told me was this person, his friend, is now a pastor. So his friend, the friend、um, encouraged him to.、Uh, To read the gospel, to go back to his cell, to pray about it, and allow God to change his life. And you know, he was the first guy back in this system that in Singapore we call long term. That's for drug offenders, ah,、huh? long term one. After or during his prison sentence, they had sent him for a program at Breakthrough Halfway House. And through that, you know, who know who who would know that he has stayed so long for 17 years? I asked him what is his favorite thing down here. So he said that like before. Uh, okay, so you guys don't both know this cafe is situated next to the Singapore courts, just exactly next to it. So he said very often he will see families come in the morning, have their meal happily, and then later on in the afternoon or evening, he will see the same group of family, the same group of people, but minus one. But their mood will be totally different, and you know it reminds him of the past, how he would you know be happy in the morning with his family, and then. Later, when he go to court, he be sentenced, and then go into prison, and how the mood of his family would change. So he feels that his favorite thing is to encourage these people when he sees a situation like this, to encourage the family, yeah, to bring, I guess, some comfort to them because it reminds me reminds him of his past. So I've asked him whether、um, organizations like Breakthrough is. Needed in Singapore to help people like us reintegrate, and he said it's very necessary. It's best if no three or four more could could be set up in Singapore. You're not stable, huh? 
Kang itu suka jian ya, Sisi Mim ya? Saya suka jian Yes, jian ya, besai, besai Kong salah dia jian lah, kali wah Saya suka jian sih, kari kue lah Kari kue Oh, this guy, new one His favorite food, kari chicken Later, I think I also try ya Confirm mau jian, bro? Kari chicken ke nasi lomak Oke, dia bilang bahwa kari chicken dan nasi lemak is nice Confirm mau jian, bro? Confirm, confirm Dia bilang confirm very nice, later we try ya Tak mau jian, bro, try Oke, thank you, brother Oke, kamu siap Okay, guess who is this lovely person with long hair? This photo was taken in 1968. Are you ready? One, two, three, jai, jai. None other than Pastor Simon Neo himself. Hallelujah, glory be to God. Hello, uh, this is Brother Simon Neo from Breakthrough Mission. Okay, uh, Pastor Simon, I know you started this, you started Breakthrough Mission, all right? It's been for a long time and Breakthrough Cafe, of course. Can you tell us a bit more about uh, why you started this place? Yeah, I think way back 1969. I say recall back. Uh, just now, the right in front of Breakthrough Cafe is a subordinate court. So 1969, 20 of us, a hardcore addict, have been arrested hmm? and stand in front of the judge, waiting for sentence. I still remember those days. The newspaper named our group as Alpha, Alpha Romeo Group. Ava Romeo Group? Yes. Okay. So hmm. since then, and I've been in and out prison. Yeah. 1969 in Queenstown Prison, 70 in Changi Prison, 74 in St. John Island. Our life never changed uh, until 1977. A friend of mine introduced me to a Christian halfway house, House of Hope. Finally, I found hope in Christ Jesus. From there, my life transformed. And I dedicate my life to serve the Lord in this transformation life ministry until this day. So 1983, we started Breakthrough Mission, a Christian halfway house, to reach out to more, to reach out to our kind of background. They troubled and wounded, lost so. After Breakthrough Mission, uh, in serving for 20 years, now also we have prepared, looking for a, a wonderful place for our brother for their integration. So finally, we found here, uh, then we, we, we saw this is a good place. So my chairman is a lawyer, uh, Mr. Lauren Fong. So I, I invite him to come and take a look. Hey, brother, I say, this is a good place for our breakthrough ministry, for our brother for their integration. <laughs> then he came and said, wow, this is a good place. So started, when we started, we rented the next two door, mm. next two shop, mm. start our book room. But that was 2005. Then 2007, the next, this present cafe owner approached me. He said, hey, Brother Simon, why don't you take over this place? <laughs> then, from there, then from there, I moved from, from book room to cafe. Because I realized that book room, you only can help a few. But running an f and uh, uh, kind of business, you can help more brother for their, their integration training program and prepare, prepare them for their integration. At the same time, we also prepare them It's a job placement for them. Uh, so we have uh, this long-term plan for our brother. So since 2007, uh, we started Breakthrough Cafe yeah, until today. It's so amazing that uh, many judges, lawyers, prosecutors, just right in front of us. Breakthrough <laughs> uh, uh, Cafe, a state court, now we call state court in the old day we call subordinate court. So the judges, they are very supportive. The lawyer and people who work in the court, they always show their, their passion, their care and concern. And the judges, and, and, uh, uh, they always order many coffee and tea. And our breakthrough brother, you know, to, they have testified many times. They say in the past, we stand in front of judges to waiting for sentence. But today, wonderful, praise God, we go into the court, it's not for sentence, but we serve the judges. <laughs> so amazing, it's a great change, a great transformation. So that's why we are here to start this cafe for integration program. It's the purpose is to bring hope to a group of a friend or us. And, and I'm, I'm a junkie, junkie. I'm, I'm a drug addict. Since way back 1968, one pound of running water that lead me to heavier 
drugs such as opium, morphine and heroin. I still recall back in the Victoria Street, second floor opium dam, third floor morphine dam. Soon High Road, ground floor is, is gambling dam, second floor opium dam. And uh, you know, Chinatown here, Hong Kong, mm. all the Tongkang workers, all either they are opium addict or morphine addict, are those they are. So because of one part of drug, that did me to have a job. But deep my heart, I find for help. Why? Because when I was sentenced into the prison, in the prison we go through the withdrawal or oh, then no joke. <laughs> really bad, really bad. This so one I must record myself. They say that marijuana is not a gateway drug. Is it a gateway drug? Marijuana. They say uh, when you smoke marijuana, it will not lead you to other drugs. I always tell people yes. They say no. Ah, here. Ah, yeah. this one. Also a gateway drug for him and I. So who said? Marijuana not no, a gateway drug. They relax like you guys. <laughs> Alright, so okay. really Pastor Simon, a great testimony of how, you know, um, I guess you and I would agree to this statement. Yeah. Other people, I mean, our state, our country, they will try and reform us, right? But reformation is not the thing for junkies. I think the only way for junkies to go in order to have a change and new life is transformation. And only Amen. God can do that. Amen. I heard yes. that now, guys. Amen. Only God Amen. can do that. Amen. Okay? Hallelujah. Uh -huh. Yes. So, guys, now is the moment of truth. All right, I've ordered for myself dishes that the brothers said are worthy of or are their favorite. So, we have the uh, sesame chicken, the curry chicken, and then the nasi lemak. Wow. Okay? Same thing right now. Oh, Allah, I cannot, I cannot decide which one do you first. I think I shall go for the nasi lemak first. Huh? Stand by. Okay, uh, presentation wise, as you can see, oh, very nice. So apparently the, the uh, nasi lemak, they got two sorts where you can have either the chicken cutlet or the chicken wing. Of course, I ordered the chicken cutlet, a wing of bone and everything. And I also ordered extra ota. Because the guy said I must order the ota, very nice. Mm. So for nasi lemak, I think you guys know, very important for me, uh, the rice and the chili. So we go for the rice and chili first, yeah? Rice and chili, no, try the rice first. Okay? Rice by itself has a bit of um, a fragrance, coconut, milk fragrance, chili with the rice. Okay, good. Sambal tumis, the sambal tumis is good. Spicy, pungent, blends well with the rice. And now rice, nasi lemak, and gumbiris. I like the way the anchovies are being fried, light and crispy. The ota, ota, you wait out, got taste it. Chicken garlic. Hmm? Now all together. Okay, so I can understand why the brother early on had said this is one of his favorite dish. Presentation wise, it's very good. Um, Taste-wise, is slightly above average and you know, it really fills up your stomach, right? So, this one, if let me rate, I uh, think I give it a... If you plus the uh, social enterprise factor, of course, it's five, to, five out of five. Lah, if you plus the social enterprise factor. Without the social enterprise factor, I think I'll give it a... A four. Alright, a four. Four out of five. So we go on to the next dish. Okay, next up, uh, sesame oil chicken. So just now, brother, I was just say very nice. Now we try, find out really nice or not. First, we try, of course, the gravy, lah. Oh yes. I mean, sesame oil by itself is, you know, it's very fragrant. And when you eat it with rice, uh, it's always itchy pang. But it all depends also the sort of sesame oil that you buy. Some my mother taught me one. So if you bought, if you buy the sort of sesame oil that's low in quality, of course you're not going to get a good, good taste. This one, I think is good. Let's see, if we go with the rice can or not. Mm. Very nice. Chicken is tender. Oh, it's not very important. Huh? Chicken tender, very important. Chicken not tender, that's it. Mm. 
Overall, I give it a. I guess ready. One, one, one. Three point eight. Tada! Three point eight out of five, guys. You guys know I like curry, right? Spicy food. Okay. Mmm. Mm. Curry is flavorful. I like. Of course, as I told you guys before, the best curry I've ever tried. Of course, my mother. Mom, I love you. Mm. Okay. What I like about this is it comes with potato, a lot of potato. Not many, I, I mean, as in a lot. Um, not until like a whole bowl, lah, but. They're like two, three big pieces of potato. Ooh. So same, same old, same old. Just by cutting it, I can tell the chicken is tender. Good. All right. Yeah. Okay. So very really good. Mm. Of all the three, I like this one the most. Not because I love curry, but really, it's very nice. I like it. Hmm. Like it. So, rating are oh, very easy as well. Rating is 4.2. Four I'll give this a 4.2, really. So, without the social pr enterprise factor, alright, the points will be as it is. But you plus in the social enterprise factor, I tell you, all of them get the pie from me. Breakthrough Cafe is more than a cafe that sells food. It is a cafe that sells love to anyone who walks through her doors. It is a place that gives hope to those who find hope no more. You know what? If you guys are up for a place that sells good food and has a social cause, well, Breakthrough Cafe is a place for you. But mind you first, huh? they will be seizing operations somewhere in... Oh, yes, they'll be seizing operations on the 26th of August. But only temporarily. Operations will resume in October at a new location at Changi Village. Yes, so you guys can stand by until the next time where I'll bring you to a new location where we will find good food or food that has a social cost. This is Bruce signing out for Papa.